Original Rules of Instruction The explanation of the 13 original rules of instruction given by our Savior, W. D. Farad Muhammad. To the Muslims of Number 1, Michigan. The following is the original rules of instruction to the laborers of Islam and the title of Muslim given by our Savior before his departure, with a footnote of a few words of explanation to lay pressure upon their minds of their many errors in the past and present, that they may see the light and walk therein. I thank you. Elijah Muhammad Instructions given to the laborers by our Savior, W. D. Farad Muhammad 1. The student must study his assignment, lesson number one. Each student should copy the answers of lesson of Minister Elijah Muhammad and study until the student is able to memorize, by heart, all answers to, of said, lesson number one. Note. Here, lesson number one is said to be the student's assignment first. Lesson number one lays the base of our work today and gives the student a clear knowledge of himself and his heavenly home, the best part of the earth and who is the enemy to him and his nation, and why the enemy and righteous could not live together, and why was the righteous able to cast out his enemy. This teaches the student what he must do with the enemy of the righteous today. The righteous nation is, now, living in every part of the planet Earth. Therefore, the enemy must, now, be removed in every part of the planet Earth. Why is stress made to the Muslims to copy the minister Elijah Muhammad's answers? The past history shows that the Almighty Allah sends prophets and apostles for the people's guide and example, and through them, his mystery was revealed. And those who follow the apostle would see the light. 2. Each student must qualify his or herself for positions awaiting them. Assignment of office will be made immediately after examination and on completion of his or her labor course. Consideration for the laborers of Islam will be taken and analysis in the near future by Allah. Note. This paragraph puts a stop to all quarreling and arguments among the laborers over their offices in Islam. Until he or she have been qualified and their qualification examined to see if they are fit to be used in the respective position. The past history shows that the first examination of laborers is made by the apostle whom the laborers are to work with. According to the Holy Quran, chapter 59, verse 7, the Muslims were very poor when they first started to teach Islam. And all contribution was given to Allah's apostle for him and his family's support. And what the apostle could spare, he gave to help take care of the poor Muslims that were unable to help themselves, and the other part was given to those who were confined to the labor of Islam. And soon, there arose an argument among the hypocrites about the use of the money because they thought that they should share equally with the apostle. Then Allah cast these hypocrites out and punished them for the false accusation that they had spread against the prophet that he was seeking to enrich himself and acting unjustly to the poor and needy. And then Allah told the other laborers that he would soon enrich all of them but, at present, every effort should be to maintain the prophet and his household. The enemy, then, tried to stop every Muslim from helping the apostle and said he should be killed. Then Allah challenged the enemy to do so, to leave not a stone unturned in trying. This is in the 34 problems that you have, if you understand. So this is what is made by Allah taking, under analysis, the consideration of the laborers in the near future. The student could practice his or her labor while under study if they were sincere and submit themselves to obey and follow the apostle. And it is written that all who rebelled against the apostle, Allah made it impossible for them to live in peace until they would submit. The Holy Quran does not contradict a Muslim to swear his allegiance to his brother so long as he does not break his allegiance. Nor does the Bible in this case. 3. The laborers must speak and use grammatic pronunciation of words and syllables in past, future, present, and perfect tense. The laborers' answers to all lessons must be in the above language. Others will not be considered. Note. The dumb must speak plainly. The stammering tongue is speaking clear. He covers the prophecies of the Bible and, also, the Holy Quran in a word. No man can be successful in teaching a people that cannot speak, clearly, the people's language. But there is more to be understood in the words. 
that the laborer's pronunciation of words and syllables must be in the past, future, and present perfect tense. Otherwise will not be considered. What is meant by the laborer's answers to all lessons in the past, present, and future being perfect? is that we must know and be able to prove at all times to the new converts that the lessons that our Savior, Allah, gave us to study and learn is the fulfillment of the prophecies of all the former prophets concerning the beginning of the devils and the ending of the civilization and of our enslavement by the devils and present time of our delivery from the devils by our Savior, Allah. Praise His holy name. There is no God but Allah. How that Allah would separate us from the devils, and then destroy them, and change us into a new and perfect people, and fill the earth with freedom, justice, and equality as it was filled with wickedness, and making we, the poor lost founds, the perfect rulers. Therefore if we have not this understanding, we are yet blind to him that has come to save us. For this is our Savior's desire, that we should know him as our God and Savior, and that beside him there is no Savior for us. Why should the lost founds disbelieve and dispute with one another about our Savior, Allah, and His work of delivering? Cannot a fool see that a mighty change is in progress in every living creature? 4. The laborers must practice the above language with all new converts. The laborers are liable to punishment if found using baby language at any time. The laborers must greet a registered Muslim in his own way. 5. Mistakes shall not exist among the laborers of Islam at no time. 6. The minister's class must study and prepare themselves for examination as soon as they are able to. Everyone's final examination will be before Allah, our Savior, which will include all of the forms of lessons, number one's answers, and all the problems, and a general review of the three and one half years of labor. Absence in the minister's class must always be investigated. Each Muslim should know all of this by heart. It is all his and her own. The time is right for us to reclaim our own, which is knowledge, understanding, and a high civilization. We all are equipped physically and mentally to accomplish the said above with little study. Young, old, men, women, and children. The MGT and GCC should study this along with the training. Report their progress along with the rest. 7. The Temple Reading Class The reading class shall include all of the history. Report the reading class along with the regular school report. The secretary must report once a week of the educational department and a general report of the temple. 8. All students of the University of Islam must use official paper for their lessons at all times. Quickness, fast moving, cleanliness internally and externally right down to the modern times. The law of Islam does not approve continuation of laborers with devil's names. The register must be clear of devil's names. English lesson number C1. Spelling must be used by all Muslim girls and mothers to their children for bedtime study, also, in regular courses. Muslim girls must get away from reading the devil's bedtime story to their children. 9. Application for enlistment in the fruit of Islam will be accepted on the approval of their holy names. Names of devils are not counted of any value in the fruit of Islam. Devils must stay away. 10. The restrictive law of Islam is our success at any time. Anyone who fails to be 100% to the law shall be dismissed from his or her post. 11. Brothers and sisters, you all get busy and help to arise the dead nation and place them on top of civilization. My dearest desire is to give everyone his or her own. I do not want importance among the officials nor the laborers. Do not do other than yourself. Do not take on mixed instructions other than our assignment. 12. The MGT and GCC. I can sit on top of the world and tell everyone that the most beautiful nation is in the wilderness of North America. But do not let me catch any sister other than herself in regards to living the life and weighing properly. 13. Big fields are waiting for the wide awake man to work out. Arise the dead nation by the thousands. The dead nation must arise, for the time is at hand. Look in your poison book. Work cheerfully and fear not. You are the righteous, the best, and the powerful.